They told us you can't grow a 2.5 kilo broiler without imported amino acids and commercial drugs. They said herbs are too slow. But what if I told you that my grandfather, an old school Kenyan farmer who never saw the inside of a veterinary lecture hall, cracked the code with two things, bitter neem leaves and sticky brown molasses. Back in 2002, we lost 80 chicks in two weeks. Newcastle? No. It was a deadly mix of coccidiosis, weak gut and poor weight gain. That's when Mzi, my grandfather, walked into the poultry shed with a gunny bag full of neem leaves and a 20 litre yellow jerry can sloshing with molasses. I thought he had lost it. But within a week, the surviving birds were not only stronger, they were hungrier. Within three weeks, the average weight had jumped by nearly 300 grams above the restock batch we'd bought at the same time. And this wasn't a one-time miracle. It became our secret formula. Today, I'm finally sharing it with data, vet insight, and real pharma case studies. Because the neem plus molasses tonic isn't just tradition, it's science. It detoxifies, boosts immunity, sharpens feed conversion, and makes broilers hit market weight days earlier. In this video, you'll learn the exact mix, the logic, the mistakes to avoid, and why so many farmers miss out. If you care about healthier chickens and better profits, give this video a like, share it with another farmer, subscribe so you don't miss proven tips like this, and tell me where you're watching from around the world. Let's dive in. You already know that broiler farming is a game of margins, one extra day of feed can wipe out your profit. But here's the real problem. Most broiler farmers in Kenya and across Africa are losing 7 to 12% of their potential final weight. Not because of poor genetics or expensive feeds, but because of invisible gut problems. You've seen it. Birds that eat well, but stay small. Chicks that start strong, but hit a growth plateau by week 3. Or those sudden deaths around day 21 to 28, just as weight gain should explode. We blame stress, feed, or weather, but the root issue is often early gut damage, toxin buildup, or mild infections that weaken absorption. Now add heat stress, crowding, water quality, or mycotoxins from improperly stored maize. You end up with bloated bellies, wet droppings, and poor weight. Farmers lose 0.3 to 0.7 per bird just from suboptimal gut performance. That's $30 to $70 gone in every batch of 100 birds, and over $3,000 a year in medium-scale flocks. And the saddest part? Most of this can be fixed in the first 10 days of life. But we miss the window, either overdosing on antibiotics that damage gut flora, or doing nothing and hoping for a miracle. That's why my grandfather's formula matters. Neem and molasses sound simple but they work on multiple levels. Scientifically, neem, azadirachta indica, contains over 140 active compounds, azadirachtin, nimbin, and salanin, among others, that act as antimicrobials, antiparasitics, liver protectants, and immune boosters. Molasses, rich in natural sugars, iron, calcium, and trace B vitamins, works as a prebiotic, gut-lining protectant, and appetite enhancer. A study published in the Journal of Veterinary Science and Technology in 2017 showed neem leaf extract significantly reduced intestinal lesions in broilers challenged with aimeria, the protozoa that causes coccidiosis. The birds had higher weight gain and better feed conversion. Another study in the International Journal of Poultry Science in 2018 found that sugarcane molasses supplementation improved gut microflora, especially beneficial lactobacillus colonies, while reducing harmful E. coli populations. But science aside, let's talk results. In 2022, a farmer in Muranga Wairimu had struggled with early chick losses in every cycle. She was losing 10 to 15 birds in the first two weeks and spending $15 on antibiotics per batch. After switching to neem molasses water for the first seven days, her losses dropped to just three birds, and she cut her medication costs by 80%. In her third cycle, her broilers hit 2.2 kilo by day 30. She thought it was luck, until she repeated it in cycle 4, 5, and 6. Why does this work so well? Think of your bird's guts like the foundation of a house. If the base is cracked, no matter how fancy the walls or roof, you're in trouble. Neem acts like a mason, patching holes in the gut wall, clearing parasites, and regulating the immune system. Molasses is the cement, feeding the good bacteria, boosting appetite, and speeding recovery. Before I show you the exact method we used, listen to this. Hi there, my name's Peter, and I've been raising chickens for over 10 years now. Layers, broilers, even some indigenous birds. Let me be honest, before I found this book, I was struggling. Feed prices were going up, antibiotics were becoming less effective and my flock just wasn't performing like it used to. 
Then I came across The Organic Chicken Farmer's Guide by Dominic Ngafo and Mogweru Isaac. I decided to buy it, and I'll tell you something. It changed everything on my farm. This guide isn't theory, it's practical. It shows you how to use local, affordable things like garlic, neem, turmeric, aloe vera, even charcoal, to keep your birds healthy and productive. I started small. I tried the moringa and garlic in the water for a week. I noticed improved appetite, less coughing, and better energy. Now, I've built my own small black soldier fly setup for protein, and I'm using fermented feeds regularly. My birds are growing faster, my eggs are bigger. I'm saving money, and I haven't used antibiotics in months. The best part? The book is easy to understand. It speaks our language, not complicated science. And it's available in English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Indonesian, so anyone can use it. If you're serious about poultry farming and want to move forward the smart way, scan the QR code you see on your screen or click the link in the description and the pinned comment. This book worked for me. I believe it can work for you too. Let me now give you the exact method we use, tested over the years and refined with vet supervision. Start with fresh neem leaves, ideally young shoots as they have higher active compounds. For 100 birds, collect about two handfuls of neem leaves. Wash them thoroughly. Boil them in 5 liters of clean water for 20 minutes. Let it cool. Strain the liquid to remove all leaf residue. Now add 150 milliliters of food grade molasses. If you can't find food grade, go for animal feed molasses from trusted agrovets. Stir well. You now have a powerful tonic. Dosage. Mix 1 liter of this neem molasses. Concentrate with 10 liters of drinking water and offer it as the sole water source for 6 hours daily for the first 7 days of life. Make fresh batches every day. Don't store overnight. From day 8 to 14, reduce frequency to 3 days per week, then once per week until slaughter. If birds show signs of stress, diarrhea, or slowed growth mid-cycle, resume for 2 to 3 days. One important warning, never overdose on neem. Some farmers think more bitter means more power, but it can reduce feed intake if too strong. Stick to the 1 is to 10 dilution. In Busia, farmer Juma learned this the hard way. His first trial was too concentrated. He used one liter of neem decoction in just five liters of water. By day three, feed intake had dropped. He corrected the dilution and saw rapid recovery, but it reminded us that natural doesn't mean risk-free. Follow the ratios. Also, don't confuse molasses with sugary soda syrup or jaggery sukaringuru. Only real molasses, thick, dark, sticky, is effective. It should cost around $1 to $1.5 per liter in most agrovets or sugar zones. So now you're probably wondering, why don't more farmers do this? Some think herbs are old-fashioned, others worry that it's too slow or unscientific. And yes, there's a myth that neem will kill your birds or reduce growth. But let's clear this up. First, neem is toxic to parasites, not poultry. When used correctly, it strengthens the bird's immune system and liver, not harm it. The studies are clear. Second, neem does not cure everything, like some sellers claim. It's not a magic bullet. It works best as a preventive, not a curative. That's why starting early, ideally from day one, is key. As for molasses, some fear it will spoil the water. But in the right dilution, it improves taste, encourages drinking, and protects the gut lining from irritation caused by feed toxins or heat stress. I've seen too many farmers wait until birds are already sick, then panic with antibiotics, dewormers and stress packs, but by then the damage is done. Prevention is always cheaper. Another question I get a lot, can you use neem molasses with vaccines? Yes, just make sure the tonic is not given on the day of live vaccine administration, like IBD or Newcastle. Give clean water for 24 hours around vaccination, then resume the tonic. If you're doing organic or antibiotic-free broiler farming for niche markets like hotels, health stores, or home deliveries, neem molasses becomes a competitive advantage. It builds trust with customers who want clean chicken while keeping your production costs low. So what should you do today? Start by sourcing fresh neem from your farm or a trusted herbalist. Dry some for backup. Buy molasses from a verified supplier. Store in airtight containers away from sunlight. Prepare your decoction every morning during brooding. Observe your birds closely. Check droppings. Listen to their chirping. Watch their feeding behavior. You'll notice faster activity, more uniform growth and firmer droppings within days. By week four, compare the weights to your previous batches. You'll be surprised. A farmer in Cajiado used this method and saw his birds reach 2.4 kilo by day 32. 
cutting his cycle short and saving three days of feed. To recap, one, your broiler losses are often rooted in early gut damage, not feed quantity. Two, neem and molasses, when used properly, offer a science-backed, farmer-proven way to boost immunity, improve appetite, and cut down feed days. Three, you don't need to choose between tradition and science. The best farmers use both. So try this in your next cycle. Start small, monitor results, and fine-tune based on your farm's conditions. You don't need to throw away your current system, just enhance it. And remember, poultry success isn't just about fancy equipment or imported supplements. It's about understanding your birds, your environment, and using what nature gave us wisely. If this helped you, hit the like button, subscribe for weekly poultry tips, and share this with a farmer who needs it. We rise by lifting each other, one bird, one batch, one formula at a time. See you in the next video, and may your next broiler cycle be your best one yet.